Good afternoon, everybody. We are back in Ezekiel. Um, we left off in chapter 16, and God was telling Ezekiel to go and um, uh, says to cause Jerusalem to know her abominations. And he was going into detail about how much he loved her, um, that he had even spread his skirt over her, which is a sign of, of protection, but even um, taking her to wife. Uh, Jerusalem was is God's favorite place on the face of this earth. So um, we're going to pick it up there. Lord, we ask you for wisdom and understanding today. As we go to your word, please open eyes and ears. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right, chapter 16, verse 9. Then washed I thee with water, Yea, I thoroughly washed away thy blood from thee, and I anointed thee with oil. I clothed thee also with broidered work, and shod thee with badger's skin, and I girded thee about with fine linen, and I covered thee with silk. Turn, turned you into royalty. I decked thee also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon thy hand, and a chain on thy neck. And I put a jewel on thy forehead, and earrings in thine ears, and a beautiful crown upon thy head. Thus wast thou decked with gold and silver, and thy raiment was of fine linen and silk embroidered work. Thou didst eat fine flour and honey and oil, and thou wast exceedingly beautiful, and thou didst prosper into a kingdom. And thy renown went renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty. For it was perfect through my comeliness, which I had put upon thee, saith the Lord God. And then here we go. <laughs> but thou didst trust in thine own beauty. He became prideful and playedst the harlot because of thy renown and pourest out thy fornications on every one that passed by. His it was, and of thy garments thou didst take and deckest thy high places with diverse colors and place the harlot thereupon. And this this harlot that they're talking about is is spiritually um, because of the idolatry. Um, but since God had married, in a sense, married Jerusalem, it, it's the um, symbolism there that that committing fornication with other gods. Not good. The like thing shall not come, neither shall it be so. Thou hast also, also taken thy fair jewels of my gold and of my silver, which I had given thee, and madest to thyself images of men, and didst commit whoredom with them, and tookest thy broidered gar garments, and coverest them, and thou hast set mine oil and mine incense before them. You're worshiping these, these false idols. My meat also, which I gave thee, fine flour and oil and honey, wherewith I fed thee, thou hast even set it before them for a sweet savor. You've even given that to those idols. And thus it was, saith the Lord God. Moreover, thou hast taken thy sons and thy daughters, whom thou hast borne unto me, and these hast thou sacrificed unto them to be devoured. We talked about that before. That was a thing back then of the Molochism, the child sacrifice. Uh, has borne unto me. And these hast thou sacrificed unto them to be devoured. Is this of thy whoredoms a small matter? That thou hast slain my children and delivered them to cause them to pass through the fire for them. And in all thine abominations and thy whoredoms, thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth, when thou wast naked and bare and was polluted in thy blood, where I brought you out from. And it came to pass, after all thy wickedness, woe, woe unto thee, saith the Lord God, that thou hast also built unto thee an eminent place, and hast made thee a high place in every street. You really puffed yourself up. Thou hast built thy high place at every head of the way, and hast made thy beauty to be abhorred, abhorred, and hast opened thy feet to every one that passed by, 
and multiplied thy whoredoms. And that's five minutes and actually a good place to stop. So I love you guys. Um, happy Monday. Hope you're having a good one. Love and blessings to you. We'll pick it up there tomorrow.